Okay, well, I've taken a step further uh, in the last video, number two of the self-oscillating uh, hybrid exciter. I was actually running 12 LEDs, not 6. I misspoke. I guess I can't count anymore. So I took and told you I was going to see how much we could get out of this. Kind of interesting already. Uh, I put the video up on YouTube and thought, well, we'll go ahead and plug in the 48 lead board that we use for testing the SEC exciters and sure enough it uh, doesn't seem like there's any problem at all in getting 48 LEDs running didn't even have to change the tuning this time the only thing I did have to do is I had to add set it on top of the aluminum block to give it a ground plane or uh, we'll call it a virtual ground plane to work from but we're fully driving these 48 LEDs and uh, you can see we're still driving these puny little two down here they sure look a lot dimmer than they did in the last video now that we're driving all of these 48 and of course let me back up here just a little bit you can see the intensity coming out of the 48 of them and of course we're still configured exactly the same with the ground and whatever now you can, what's interesting is I'm going to put my hand in close and I hope the audio don't go away but you can see the phasing shifting but watch when I get close to it see it'll shift on you and so this field is quite large around here I'll get it out here I'm now about a foot away from the front of that bunch of LEDs there we go so you can see all along here, there it drops off. Actually the field is going more into the LEDs now than what we have around the periphery of it. But that's okay. I, I'm thinking now maybe I'll go ahead and try for add another 6 or 12 to it and see what happens. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. I just wanted to show you that it, it definitely will drive the 48 and uh, I don't even have to put a heat sink on the transistor. Quite interesting.